In Microsoft Forms Pro, we can create either surveys or quizzes. So let's go ahead and look at creating a new quiz. So we're logged in, we're in the home screen, and we'll go ahead and click on new quiz. So let's go ahead and we'll give it a name to start with. So I'm going to call this animal quiz 2. Okay, and then we can give it a description. Let's see how well you know animals. Just like with the survey, we can go ahead and we can give it a theme. So we can go ahead, we'll give it the sky theme. So we've got a nice background there. So now let's go ahead and we'll start putting in some questions. So we'll go ahead and add the first question. We're going to make this multiple choice. So our question will have, what is the biggest animal that has ever lived? Okay, so we've got our question in. Um, let's go ahead and put in some options. So we'll go with blue whale. Uh, we'll go with African elephant. We'll go with uh, brontosaurus. And we'll go with a spinosaurus. OK, so once we've got all of our questions in, um, then we need to determine, well, what is the actual correct answer? So for this one, it's going to be the blue whale. And if we want to, when somebody has actually selected that, we can go ahead and we can put in a message that will be displayed. So we can put in a little bit more information. Now, if somebody's got the incorrect answer, we might also want to display something. We could either give them that same um, message, so even though they've got it wrong, maybe we still want them to, to know further information about it, or we can go ahead and say, no, sorry, that is incorrect. So we can put in a message that will display so that they can still see or they can they can see a message. So that's entirely up to you in terms of the type of quiz that you are creating, whether you'd want them to see the, the actual information or whether you want them to see a different message. So we've put in our question um, and then we can say, OK, well, how many points is this question worth? So we might say, well, this question is worth 10 points. Um, we can also say it's required. Um, we can say they can put in multiple answers, uh, shuffle the options, do them as a drop down, um, have it be a, a math question or also add in a subtitle. So the subtitle would be um, something think hard about this question, whatever it is that you want to say. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll put in another question. So Let's go with another multiple choice. And for this one, we'll say, uh, what animal lives the longest? And we'll go ahead and put in our options, an uh, ocean, uh, basically a clam, um, red sea urchin, a Galapagos tortoise and a rough eye rockfish. So again, we've got all of our um, potential answers in there and we'll go ahead and select which is the correct answer. And then again, if we want to display a message, and then again for this one, let's go ahead and actually display the same message for each of them. Okay, now because I've already set 10 points to the first question, it's gone ahead and just assumed and put that in for the second one. And it's also uh, following suit with whether it's required or not. So we've put in our questions. Um, now we'll see that the total quiz is worth 20 points. Let's go ahead and we'll preview this and I'll go ahead and fill this out. So we're going to go ahead and we'll put the correct answer for this one and we'll pick the wrong answer for the, for the next one. We'll go ahead and submit that. We can see that our response was submitted and we'll go ahead and we'll view the results. Now, this is as the person that's submitting this quiz and actually filling this out. So I can see that I've got 10 out of 20 
and I can see oh, okay well there's the um, the response that I gave to the first one and I've got a tick so I know I've got that right that's that's awesome and I can also see I've got 10 out of 10 points then if I scroll down I can see there's the second one that I got wrong I can see which is the correct answer by the the tick or the check mark next to it and I can also see this is the response that I gave of the tortoise but what I can see is the information in that message that's actually giving me more info about that clam um, so I can still see that. So hopefully this gives you a very quick overview of how to create a simple quiz um, to where we can put in some questions, give them some points, set the correct answer and then also provide a message to the person filling out the quiz so that they can see um, a little bit more detail about that that question or a little more information about what the correct answer is. We'll look at more complicated quizzes in future videos and blog posts. If you want to see the corresponding blog for this you can go to meganvwalker.com and you'll be able to see a list of, uh, of blogs all about Microsoft Forms Pro. Hi, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click my photo below to subscribe for more content like this. You can also click to watch the next video and keep on learning.